Okay. Here we go. For reals this time. The spiritual successor to Hamster Ball. The predecessor to, I guess, Monkey Ball. I bet the Monkey Ball devs probably didn't know about this game. I wouldn't be surprised. It was an old, like, uh, this was, like, real arcade. This was that era of gaming. I think it's a shockwave game. That it's like it's like right after DOS, but just before Newgrounds is when this was happening. And it's kind of a middle ground between the game we just played, Marble Madness, the original Marble game, and uh, Monkey Ball. Oh boy. Well, I see, I just got the audio levels working, and then the main menu had to go and have really loud music, so... Now I'm wary. I gotta double-check that it's not too loud again. Let's try that. Something like there. You'll see similarities between this and Marble Madness in terms of gameplay as we go into it. A mouse? Do I, do I have to use the mouse for this? Might have to use the mouse for this. Alright, well, uh, I don't actually remember which of these is the main game mode. Let's see, tournament or time trials? Choose a tournament difficulty. Uh, this seems kind of like the Monkey Ball 1 kind of game mode, where you have to do a bunch of levels at once. Let's, let's see time trials. This seems like things that I, I would unlock by going through. Okay, it, it is mouse. I wonder if I can use a uh, if I can use controller for this. It can it feels fine with a mouse. I I don't really have a problem doing that. Okay, already similarities to Monkey Ball. We have medals and times to beat. But it's got the uh, isometric kind of level design that uh, Marble Madness had. Now is there fall damage? There is fall damage, okay. I cannot just, I cannot tank a fall, much like Marble Madness. Feels much faster though. Look at this frame rate. I bet this would, I bet this would work well with a uh, trackpad. sort of thing. I was thinking about doing some uh, mini-golf streams with Jack. There's a handful of good uh, indie, like, mini-golf games on Steam that we have, and those would be fun to do. With various gimmicks, various reasons to uh, get angry with one another. Okay. Maybe not. Maybe tournament is the way that I have to unlock levels. 
Uh, all scoring is cut in half. All enemies removed. I, you know what? I'm tempted. To, I'm tempted to go pipsqueak just because of the way this game is is structured. But uh, I, I'll 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 go normal. The reason I say that is because this game is a little bit unfair. It's it doesn't make you start from the very beginning as soon as you die like Marble Madness does. However, times carry over between courses. So it's possible to start a course and not have enough time to complete it if you did poorly enough on the previous courses. They'll race it to get the hang of tricks without affecting your time pool. That's what they call it, the time pool. Remember Time Squad? That was a show that existed. Oh, speaking of cartoons. That was something that was, uh, I don't know if it was announced today or if people just started talking about the trailer today. Uh, the Nicktoons. Battle Royale or ba Brawler. The Sma Nicktoons Smash Brothers got a trailer that everyone's been talking about. It's, uh, by the Smap Slap City devs. And Smash players are excited because it seems like it has uh, a good engine for competitive. Like, it's got wave dashing, it's got uh, rollback netcode, a lot of stuff that people have wanted in Smash Ultimate. I wonder if I get bonus points for destroying the enemy balls. But it also, it looks like a Nicktoon, Nicktoons game, or it even looks like Slap City. It's very plastic looking. There's not a lot of animations with the characters. I'm hoping that improves. Okay, so that's my time pool. And I can't even go back and do a specific level. I can only roll back to a previous level. So if I did badly on this one, did well on this one, and then needed more time, I would have to undo both levels to fix that time and do better. It's a very strange kind of game design. You know what this also makes me think of? Uh, Frogger. We do stream a PS1 Frogger one of these days. That was a fun game. I never finished it. It was a hard game in some spots. Okay, I just, I just have to not suck. I need to get good, and then I won't have any problems with the time pool. Unlocked for time trial. Great. I didn't remember that this was a mouse game. Then again, I haven't tried to use controller or anything. Maybe I should. The mouse works well for parts like that with like a swirl. Avoid tar. Okay. Oh, that slows me down. Whoop! Okay, I didn't eat fall damage there somehow. Don't know how, but I'm not worried. I had the sequel. I had Frogger 2 as a PC demo, and I never got the full game. Let me try... Let me try the controller and let me try arrow keys, see if either of those work. Oh! 
Hey, hey, we have controller support in a early 2000s shockwave game. Impressive, as the Green Goblin would say. I wasn't expecting that. That's great. See, we got really fluid analog movement. I forgot how well this game controlled. This is a great marble game. No wonder I wanted to come back to it. I wish the way that you progress through levels wasn't complete ass, but other than that... Yeah, this, this still looks kind of nice. This plays nice. Someone port this. Put this on the Switch. What are some other... What are some other PS1 games you've played, Darian? You've mentioned you'd played the Emperor's New Groove like I did, and uh, Frogger. Up race. With Nickelodeon All Stars is gonna have a fighter's pass. Bizarrely, they did not show off any. They didn't show off Jimmy Neutron or Timmy Turner. I don't, I don't like the way I'm doing. I'm gonna I'm gonna eat this one. Right click to pause. Oh there we go. Abort. Let's abort this race. Uh there's a big red tasty button somewhere. Push it and you get an extra five seconds. Oh, cool. Everything about this is good, except for the way the levels are structured. Why would you do that, game devs? There we go. That's a much better start. Uh-oh. There was Danny Phantom in the in the trailer though, so the lack of Timmy, I don't think, could be a Butch Hartman thing. Ah! Oh, I have to. I see. I would have had to make the jump onto it. I'm not I'm not happy with that level time at all. Par for the course. Well I'm above par. I take it or should I try it again? I want to try that one more time. And roll back a race to undo your mistakes. It'll reset your scores to zero and disqualifies you from posting high stores when you win or lose the tournament. Okay. Well, I, I want to post my uh, my high scores online. How will people on AOL know what know how good I am if I don't post them? I'll I'll just keep going. I'm above par. Expert race. This might end up being a very short stream. Depends. How, I, I think I remembered Hamster Ball being longer than it was. But how do I get past that guy? I gotta bob and weave. Well, this just got a lot harder.
tired of this sound yet? Oh. It's okay. This level's just sco this this time through is just scoping it out. Oh, it respawns me all the way up here. I'm gonna switch back to mouse. Maybe that'll go a little bit better. with mouse is that you run out of mouse pad and then you have to adjust, but you don't have time to adjust. I think mouse was a mistake. Never try to control a hamster with a mouse. Yeah, no. Yeah. I think they still sell this game. I got this game for like five or six bucks on a website that sells old game licenses. Dweep. I played a little while ago. That had gone to uh, shareware. Oh, I shouldn't have done this. I shouldn't have gone this way again. This is the bad way. Okay. Much better time this time. Ah. No. Okay, good. I did. I was worried I would reset at the very top again. Seventy. Uh. Well. Hmm. That's uh quite a small time pool compared to what they want me to have. And so we reach the crux of this game: entering a level without enough time to complete the level. Let's do it! I wonder if there's ever been a GDQ in this game. Probably not. But it'd be cool to see. Come on. Ah! Go around the outside. Oh, that was way easier. And here we go. I assume there wasn't anything like this in Marble Madness, which is why I call this, like, a good spiritual successor to Marble Madness. I get stuck in the pipe? What was that? And GG. Okay. We 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 gonna have to roll back a few levels. Come on. 
Ah, okay. Mouse, it is. I'm gonna go back to the purple one, because I feel like I, I could have done better on the up race. Your continued progress in this game really depends on you getting good times in levels in a sequence. Which I feel like was the case for Frogger as well. Am I mis misremembering that? Well, I didn't hit the button, but... Oh, no! I, sh I should have checked what my previous time was. Par for the... No, I'm still under par. Wait, that's not good enough. I wish there was just a levels mode. You just have the tournament and you have the time trial. Uh, where's the level? Hmm. This is an interesting screen. I've never seen this before. Every time, I can never make that loop successfully. What was the part? It was like 75? I'm, I'm, I'm making 60s on this level. I'm gonna roll back one more. Power race. How did I do on that? That's some sweet, like, uh, fake Euro dance music in this one. points for that. I don't think it's time, but it's points. My ball is also wiggling a little bit. Which might be because the mouse is uh, wiggling a little bit. I don't know if it's worth going the worth going the spike ball route. Should have gone baby mode. I should have gone eat. You know what? Maybe it's not too late. I'm a, okay. I'm a, they, they won game. 
for the sake of seeing more of the levels in the game. Party games. Oh, there's multiplayer. I'm gonna go baby mode. Sorry. I want to see up more levels than I saw as a child. Turns out I'm no better than I was then. That difficulty spike is still very mean. Why does he want to veer to the left immediately? Or the right, rather. I think he's constantly being, like, pushed to the right a little bit, is what's going on. I'm not sure why that's happening. They don't even have the tar in baby mode. That's fine. We're gonna waste all of this extra time when we get to the hard level anyway. I'm gonna play baby mode and it's still gonna be too hard for me. Okay, nope. Doing that over. If there's no spike balls, then I definitely gotta take this top route. I'm not taking any chances. The timer's the enemy. Still only 15 seconds above par. 
I could do better on that. I could not get eaten if I wanted to, but uh, may maybe that's good enough. Maybe I'm still good. I got a new uh, controller cord. So the issue where it unplugs itself should not be happening. Or is not happening, rather. It stopped happening. I'm gonna turn my mouse upside down. That's what I'm gonna do. So there's no chance the mouse will interfere. If he's still moving to the right, then I'm out of ideas, because the mouse isn't doing that. Hey, I did- I made the loop, somehow. I don't know why easy mode made it easier. Also, he still seems to be pushing to the right. Yeah, he's just- he- look at he go. He just wants to. I'm not pressing anything. My controller is set down. Is it because I clicked OBS, maybe? Which is to the right of the hamster ball window? Uh-oh. Oh, no. Uh-oh. No. save. That's good. I'm gonna try relaunching the game one more time. Maybe if I launch it fresh, maybe it'll be good. I would just like to not have my mouse perpetually moving to the right, if possible. I think we're good. Oh, he is no longer force moving to the right. So as long as uh, Darian, you can you can see everything, right? I d I don't want to click out of the game. Okay. Well, hmm. So, is, if I use the mouse at all, and then switch to controller, it will just register him as moving right. I might have to use the mouse, because the controller is going to keep doing this thing. again. Th 
This stupid game, man. Get Shockwave games. Oh, it's just uh, the way the executable seems to work. Alright, well, I might... Yeah, I guess I'm, uh... I guess I'm full mouse now. Call me Jerry. And we got this, this again. Wait, what are you doing? It's just stuck on right no matter what I do, even if I'm using the mouse. If I stop moving the mouse, then he'll just start flying off like that. I'm gonna assume it's just like a Windows 10 thing. It was a pain enough just getting this game working. I'll just have to take it as it is. As long as I'm inputting something, he doesn't move to the right. It's just if I drop everything, he goes flying off on his own. The hamster has a will. I have to be so anal with my time, though. And half the time, the level will just come up purple. Purple haze. Someone can play the game like this. Just blind. Okay, dying fixes it. Well, I, what about before I die, though? I would like to not die. It's every time now. It's not just some of the time, it's all the time. I just get purple. Okay, we're good. We have a good start. Finally. I gotta make it count. Little dude moves fast. Hamsters in balls way faster than bandicoots in balls. Ah. <sighs> uh. Oh, I just want to get the five. Two hundred. Excuse me. Hey guys, look how far under par I was. I'm fucking amazing. Oh great. Th 
Is it going to be an every level thing now? It worked so well for the first, like, half hour of the stream. Here's, here's the ball buster. The difficulty spike level. Now without enemies, at least, so there's that. I no longer have a hammer chasing me, I no longer have windmills. Actually, that makes this obs obscenely easier. Extra time. Oh, okay, uh, thanks. I don't know what I did, but thanks. Two thirty-five. What? What is going on? I broke it. I broke the game. I got absurdly under what it thinks par is, and it's still calling me a hamster pellet. But whatever. As long as we get to see all of the levels. That's all I really care about. That's all I want. Oh, that's a dead end. Let's try that again. I like how each level has its own uh, color scheme. I like it so much that I don't mind seeing nothing but a solid color screen when I begin a level. I guess that's another trait of uh, Marble Madness, the color-based levels thing. I bet I could, uh, I bet I could drop onto that just so. To save a lot of time. Which way am I going? I'm going that way. Okay, I don't get to choose. wonder what would have been coming out of those pipes to kill me. Something, I'm sure of it. It's 250. I can't tell how well I'm doing now. Well, let's try the tube race. That's the thing hamsters like, is tubes. I should check out the, uh, I, I gotta check the monkey ball collection. See when that's coming out on uh, Switch. I'll probably buy that. I might stream it. I've never actually streamed a monkey ball game. Just every marble game but. It's actually very hard to stop your momentum in this game. I wonder what the bizarre force narrative for this game was. Because old games always had, like, really dumb lore screens or just in information packaged with them about what the lore of the game was. Scunny had that. Wobbly race. We saw the time trials mode. We had the, the weasel, the evil weasel. Like, what's his story? What, what, what is his threat to the world of balls and hamsters? Hamsters in balls. 
I remember this level. I, I did successfully get to this level as a child. We've not hit the limits of my memory yet. Ugh. Oh, I don't like that slope. This level is incredibly OSHA unapproved. Okay. All right, Sky Race. This this might be new. I might have not reached Sky Race before. Looks like Andy's room. I recognize these platforms and things. This is probably as far as I usually got, and then I didn't have enough time to finish. I... Oh, it that doesn't work. I thought maybe if I landed on it for just a frame, it would count. I wonder what this game runs at. It looks smooth. I wonder if this is 60. Oh. Well, I guess this is the last one. It's the Master Race. Okay. I do recognize this. I have reached the Master Race before. Probably also in Pipsqueak mode. Oh boy. Oh, was I not supposed to go there? It's an extra intimidating hamster ball music. As intimidating as this game gets, anyway. Need, maybe mouse will be a little easier. Maybe I can mouse a little faster than I can control her. Maybe not. I think I'm getting further along the curve. this made for? Because obviously it wasn't children. <gasps> Did I do it? Oh, too little too late. I'm not gonna make it. There's pegs. Let's try that again.
Oh, first try. Ah, okay. It had mercy. Oh, it did the thing where it veered to the right because I wasn't pressing anything. Uh, why is the camera over here? Oh, this is a predicament. I can't not press anything or it'll veer to the right, but if I press forward, I have too much momentum and I go flying. Okay, they respawn me here. That's good. Got a tar pit. This looks like it would be fun in normal mode. <sighs> I see it. It's in sight. 30 seconds. I am a hamster pellet. But look how well I did. Look how high the par is and how, how low my time is. I have beaten the hamster ball tournament with fighting the controls the entire way, with several rollbacks, and with broken levels, and 101 broken balls. Well, what else is there? Mirror tournament? Get five fewer seconds for each race. All scoring is doubled. No, oh, I'm good. I don't need that. Uh, tube race. Do I need... I, I don't unlock time trial levels by doing them on easy difficulty. Oh, no. Well, this ended up being a much shorter stream than anticipated. I'll, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll give another go for each of the levels on, uh, on regular difficulty. Well, no, I did all these on regular difficulty at least once, or I wouldn't have unlocked them. Yeah, these are the normal difficulties for uh, time trials. Well, shoot, I should have played Marble Madness longer. Oh, well, it's okay. I did it. I played the games I said I was going to play. I showed off Hamster Ball. Despite it not functioning on Windows 10 in 2021. I still like this game. I, I would have liked, despite its flaws, I would have liked another game like it. It's the most Marble Madness-y of the Marvel games. I wonder if there are any indie games more along this style, as opposed to the, uh... As opposed to the Monkey Ball style that they all do these days. Well, I guess it'll just be a short stream today. That's it for me. Thank you for watching. As brief as it were. I never have to bother with that game's technical difficulties again. Uh, I was on Wickersham's Majora stream yesterday. I will think I'll be joining him for that again tomorrow and probably, probably into next week. He's, he'll be doing that into the future. Stream something with Jack, maybe on Thursday? We'll have to see. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.